Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, I'm going to be talking about shortcuts or Obsidian hotkeys that will help you make your note taking more efficient and more frictionless. You should never underestimate a hotkeys because uh, they can help you walk in the state of flow without having uh, to interrupt you in between like searching for mouse and then clicking here and there. You can directly walk from your keyboard. The Obsidian hotkeys feature can help you save a lot of time by assigning shortcuts to different keys. There are hundreds of uh, hotkeys that are available in uh, Obsidian but not all of them are of daily use. So in this video I'm gonna be showing you my most frequently used hotkeys that help me in creating a frictionless workflow for me. So most of these uh, hotkeys that, that I will show in this video are personalized and while some of them are default you can also customize these command as per your wish by going to this section settings and then go to hotkeys and search for the one that i say or whatever you want to use uh, and another note i'm on windows so uh, some of the keys like alt should be option and control should be command in if you are using if you, you are a mac user so i have divided these hotkey categories into four types basic note taking shortcuts basic formatting shortcuts navigational shortcuts and action shortcuts so let's begin our tutorial now let's first start with basic note taking uh, for basic note taking we have a few hotkeys here the first one is to create a new note to create a new note you don't need to click on any of these options like here create a new note you don't need to do that you can directly click uh, you can directly assign a hotkey to your keyboard and use this mm, hotkey to create a new note for my personal use I have assigned control EN and this will create a new note as you can see here is an untitled new note if I create a new one again it will create a new untitled one uh, that is a new note now next is the create a new note in new pen now if I click on another hot another hotkey control shift EN it will create a new note in another pen you see uh, this is sliding and is sliding plugin that is in use now let's move into another hotkey that is switching between reading view and live preview view for that i have assigned control e and you can see this is now in editing mode and if i toggle control e then it will be in preview mode next we have is a graph view uh, for that i have for that there is control z it will open a graph view you see here control z will open a graph view and next we have is a alt d command which will search for a book this alt key will only work if you have installed the book source plugin uh, what this does is sources book uh, from the internet and adds uh, all the relevant metadata to the book section so if i click on alt v and search for a book here let's say atomic habits okay it will source for a book and if i click on this book it will create a new note with this uh, metadata from this atomic book atomic habits book now next is a control w that is uh, what i used to close my pen i don't have to click on this exit button you can just click on control w and it will close pen now to uh, re to undo this close pen i have another hotkey that is control shift t and this will open the previously closed pen so these are the basic note taking shortcuts or hotkeys now let's go on to our basic formatting so let's open this node for example and go into editing mode and let's go down to the end okay so the first shortcut here is uh, control z uh, you might be familiar with this shortcuts because these are all uh, used in other applications too if you use control z it will undo whatever action you did previously and if you type control c it will uh, copy the text if you do control v it will paste the text and now is the um, bold and italicizing the text if you use control b it will bold the text and if you uh, do control i it will italicize the text now another hotkey is the hotkey to change this uh, paragraph or change this the text section into block code it will change to block code this is a custom css from the wise light theme you see here if I use control Q it will be changed into a block code next we have is a indenting list so if I click on tab it will indent this list here and if I click on shift tab it will outdent this list so if, you, if I click on this tab it will indent and if I click again on this tab 
you see here it indents this list okay so this is about indenting and outdenting a list now next we have here is a uh, another hotkey which is control enter uh, which cycles between list and checkbox so here is a list uh, we have a list here and if i click control enter it will change to checkbox and if i again click control enter it will toggle the checkbox and if i again click enter uh, control enter it will change into list so this is another hotkey that can be very useful and next hotkey that i have here is control shift c uh, that is for let me just change it to normal paragraph okay now control shift c will change this text block into call out you see here this is a call out here now uh, let's go to navigation shortcuts uh, for navigation shortcuts i have a few uh, that are very helpful and these are the uh, shortcuts that help me a lot uh, because i don't have to go here and do this and go here and do this okay and i don't have to uh, click here and here to move forward and backward the first shortcut is control uh, right key so what it will do is open the right sidebar you see control right key and if i do control uh, left key it will toggle the uh, left sidebar and another shortcut is uh, alt right key and alt left key left left key all right key will move this uh, move forward while all left key will move backward you see now we are move backward forward backward backward forward you see this is some navig navigational hotkey now another i have is all tabs which is for opening the home page uh, for that you will need to install this plugin uh, community plugin called home page and if i click on all tabs it will open a home page here okay uh, next is control d which opens today's daily note control d opens today's daily note next is control shift a so let me just search for a file okay so this is atomic habit summary uh, so if i click on control shift a it will reveal the active file okay uh, it will open the open the left sidebar and show where this file is located control shift a and you can see here is the atomic habits inside this archive folder okay now is now is another shortcut that is control shift m control shift m allows you to uh, move this particular file to a different folder of your wish so if i click on control shift m it will ask me to type a folder where i want to move it so that will help me uh, move this note without having to dragging and dropping into other folder next is control uh, settings for that i have used control s it will open a setting next is command palette that is the default control p it will open a command palette and if i click on control and enter on the link that is present it will open the uh, note in a new tab okay uh, let's say i don't have any notes here but let's say if i control enter this it will open in a new tab you see here that's how it works now uh, the final category is the action shortcuts the first one is control f which will search for uh, text in the note okay you see here find there is a find so if i click on any text it will look for this text in the whole note and search for whether it is pre whether it is a, whether it is present or not and the next is control shift f which will search for the text particular text in the entire world control shift f if i type it will open this search window and you can search here and next is the alt f hard key which, we, which opens the quick switcher and you can type a file name here and it will appear it will source for the uh, files with a similar name that is uh, alt f quick switcher next we have is a alt t template okay let's um, go to our untitled file here and editing mode and if i type alt t it will ask me to type the name of the template so if i type article it will add an article template here so for this plugin i'm using templater you can also use templates plugin and another hotkey for templater is alt shift t what this does is a create a new creates a new node with a with a template okay uh, and another file another hotkey is alt d what this does is delete the current file 
if I uh, go on to this and click on all the it will delete this file you see here these are some of my host keys uh, that I have used in obsidian and they help me a lot in my workflow so I hope you found this video helpful and if you found this video helpful please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to check out the links in the description uh, for more info informations